Neil O. Callahan says, great with the 11, 12 euros. Pretty much says, great result tonight. Desperately needed after the results against Arsenal. Hope to see you both next Wednesday against West Ham. That'll be my first game at Anfield. Hope to bring the look of the Irish with me. Oh, mate, I'm here in the studio next Wednesday. And it's actually man's birthday next week as well. So oh, mate, I'm here with bringing birthday. some birthday vibes. Oh, so Steve, whatever you are watching in the world, because I know you'll still be tuning in, you best bring me some birthday cake, bro. He's a, he's oh, a, is he's he still a, away? He's, a, he's in Florida, but he's in the Discord chat. I can see him in there. The little, so who's oh, on with I me think, next? Oh, it might be Steve Plunkett, actually, to be fair. Who's Listen, on with me next week? I don't know, but... We'll it find out. The best is bring him the, birthday fi cake. the final whistle has gone. It's the final whistle show. It's Chris Page, it's Errol Smith. Liverpool have just tonked, twatted, and fucking ended more, Rangers more. more than their we European did it. We, campaign. We did it with Chutzpah. It was fucking fantastic. Seven goals to one. Did I say the right word? You said the right word. Oh, yes. yes. I'm so happy. Nailing it. Nailing it. Right Nailing it. <laughs> we did it with Chutzpah. We did it with Pizzazz. And we did it with a little bit of boom, boom, pow. Uh, tonight, Liverpool, seven goals. Rangers, one goal. Rangers scored the first goal. They poked the bear. They angered the bear. Errol. Liverpool, second half, came out and absolutely fucking ran away with it. We did. And you know what, mate? I was really taken back by your energy at the beginning of all the shows. That you had a lot of excitement because you was like, I get excited watching Liverpool win. And now sitting here with the excitement that you've had for the last 20 minutes, I fully get it. And it's great because that's what it should feel like. There wasn't no angst. There was no squeaky bum time. There was no biting of nails. It was in that second half. That was the Liverpool that I remember seeing yeah. for so many games under Jurgen Klopp last season. And it's, again, finding that ruthless nature in being able to score goals from open play, taking the game away from a team in a short period of time. So, the, it doesn't matter what you do after that, the game's dead and buried. We looked clinical tonight. We gave those away fans something to cheer and something to be happy about because there's not been enough moments like that. A couple of the guys said it in the Discord, in, not in the Discord, in the, the YouTube chat, basically alluding to the fact that we deserve the performance like this tonight and the result because we can only beat what's in front of us, but often teams that aren't on our level have been served up in front of us this season and we've not been able to steamroll them the way that we were used to. So I am made up for the lads tonight. It was a, a much needed performance in terms of confidence. That's much needed as well. We will address the issues from the you know the slow start and all that because that is a hangover that we still can't seem to shake off. But we grew into that game and we found a level of maturity and we found a level of control that we've not seen enough of. No, and, and like that, look, we, I don't want to dwell on the first half because you fucking didn't like it. I, didn't, yeah. well, no, I don't, don't like yeah. talking about things that I don't like. I like talking about things that I like. It's just a natural human thing. Your show, it? bro. Run it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> second half, we had fucking 17 shots in the second half to one. Eight shots on target to zero. That's the Liverpool that I want to see. I, I Bobby Pepe Firmino, you mentioned it. He wasn't just knitting it together. He's not just been knitting it together anymore. He's the fucking tip of the spear, Bobby Firmino. And that Bobby Firmino knows how to finish the ball. He knows where to put it. He knows the touches. And when he's playing with confidence, like that pass... For, that pass for Nunes mate. there's no need for it he doesn't He doesn't need to make that pass he does it because he's Bobby Firmino he could play it left footed he could play it right footed but he decides to go with the, the why, why wouldn't you if you're Bobby I'm, Firmino I'm Brazilian it. it's what I do is there a word that you know that would just encapsulate that pass sauce yeah he put the sauce all over it just <laughs> just, 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 like salt paper, salt, salt paper, on, like, you know what I mean? Like that, but that's the level of finesse that he adds to the game, and that's because he, he's a performer. Yeah. As you said, he could have just right foot, left foot pass and just laid it off because he's read the game and he knows the run that Nunes is already going to make. But the fact that he, he does that with that level of confidence and that cockiness about him again just shows that. That's not just a one goal in five or six. That's a combination of being on what? Seven or eight goals now with four assists in the last two months already. He's putting up some fantastic numbers for his own standard. And he is, by and large, well, up until he got substituted off, he was looking like he was going to be man of the match. Mate. He was, he was. And then Salah comes in and breaks hold another my, record. Yeah, hold my beer. One hold of their moments, beer, yeah. yeah, yeah. Breaks a record again. How many? And, and we've we've almost forgotten how many records he's broken because he broke so many. Yeah. But now he's got the ch fastest Champions League hat trick ever. That's insane. Like five minutes something. I think. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I don't know what it is. It's insane and how good this lad is. Right before City, and Errol. all the goals 
were quality. Yeah. They weren't scruffy goals. No. They weren't like just getting it over the line. He didn't, he didn't bouncing off his ass. He meant every single one of them, executed them like a sniper would just be executing headshots in <laughs> Call of Duty or something like that. Video games, guys, it's not real life. Like he was on form completely. And we, you, you said that after, I think it might've been after the second goal, mate. Get him in, in and around the box for City. That touchline, Salah, done away with it. Because when he's in and around the box, he is our most deadliest finisher that we've got available to us. And I think we haven't played to that strength enough because he's not been the provider or the finisher. On that he's created line. a lot of chances. Chan- yeah, he's, yeah, Bobby Firmino. I think he had one more assist than Bobby had an interest. I think he might have had four assists in the Premier yeah. League as opposed to Bobby's three or something. But that's like four assists or 10 goals. Ten goals. What, what would you rather have? Yeah, I want goals. goals. Yeah, 100% I'd rather have the goals. And he's got it and he's got a little bit of everything about him. And I think there'll be a time and place. Again, it's about, for me, how do you get Salah Nunes and this new rejuvenated Bobby in and around the box centrally, but still have a little bit of width so you're not too narrow? That is probably a, a headache that Klopp hadn't anticipated, but it's probably the first headache all season that he's going to welcome. Because the, that's clear that, you know, we were talking about before, what's the archetypical type of goal that Liverpool scored at the minute? We haven't got one, but we know we've got three players there that if you put them in and around the box, they will finish and they will slot. How do you do it? Adding Jota when he's on form and he's in a position to do that. You've got four that you can interchange between them, but you just need to find the right level of whip that comes with that as well. We'll talk about Jota on the instant match reaction show on, on Redmen Plus in a bit. We're going to do probably 20, 25 minutes over yeah. there a little bit later on this evening when we've had a little bit chance to reflect on it and stuff. I want to talk about Jota because he seems to be quite malleable at the moment for me. seems to be able to play any position that we want him to play. Like, he's got his strengths. I thought, oh, God, he's a, he's a finisher. Yeah, that's and then now I'm looking and going, he's a fucking good 10 there as well. He linked the play and stuff. We will, sp- we'll, we will speak about him, but big thank you from, from me and from Errol for today, for, for joining us on this watch long. It's been really fun. I fucking massively love doing these watch long with Errol. I think he's a fucking brash of fresh, fresh air. Um, yeah, massive. So thank you to you, of oh, course. Really thank you to Joe pleasure. and to Steve and to Dan who are working tonight with us. Thank you to everybody who's watching, who's getting us closer and closer to that half a million subscribers on YouTube. I don't know if I can have a final figure from today, if that's okay, mate. We're 650 away. I think we were about yeah, were we about 1,200 away today? Yeah, yeah. Or maybe more. So thank you to everybody who's just fucking joined us. Big stream. I, I, I miss It's the city one. You've got to, you've got to do it for the channel. Uh, you, please do. That'd be massive. I will, I'd love to. And I'm good to them not on it now as well. I'm good to well, them not on it. You might, you might, you might get to be really happy when we go back to being shit at the weekend. Yeah. But not now, not now, not now. Liverpool just put seven past a British side, uh, nay, a Scottish side uh, in the Champions League. We're looking good. We're now uh, six points uh, ahead of well Ajax. Napoli are on 12. We could still turn this round. The goal difference has had a massive turn for the for the better oh, for yeah, us as well. Oh, yeah, that be interesting that yeah. now as well, the head-to-head. So, head. so now it's 13 goals, uh, plus 13 for Napoli. It's plus six for us. We're still away off. But we were level pegging, I think, before that. Ajax on three. We need a point to get through this group yeah. uh, against either Ajax or Napoli. Feel a lot more confident yeah. getting a point now. Absolutely. After that kind of performance in this competition, you've got to feel confident that we'll get a point between Ajax away and Napoli at home. Yeah. Like, you've got to. Yeah. So fingers crossed Liverpool can do it. But right now, it's on to the fan reaction show with Errol in about five, ten minutes' time on YouTube. Then we'll be into the player ratings. Uh, spoiler Salah gets a 10. Uh, the quick Quickest 10 I've ever given him. It's a record-breaking 10, just like his record-breaking hat-trick. i uh, got a couple of super chats before we go, so thanks, everyone, for them as well. You're all absolute fucking legends. Uh, Gareth Baird, a member for 24 months. Uh, don't go to the screen on this one, Joe. Uh, let's do the same on Sunday without letting one in. You'll never walk alone. Scott Hawks, uh, US dollars 25. Thank you very much. Big up, Jürgen. Went from a 4-4-2 spread wide with central midfield too far from Darwin. Then moved Harvey and Fabi- Fabio closer to a 4-2-2-2. It was a different game. Mo's back. Bobby was great but well done the kids I thought they were all great we'll discuss that a little bit more yeah great shout again thanks again Scott Uh, you are the best of us Gav Red 449 thank you so much mate Uh, thanks lads for a great night we needed that happy birthday Errol when it comes hope it brings us a wee bit of luck we need the momentum so big up uh, Errol as well it's his birthday next Wednesday he's going to be here on Watch Along Duty spending his birthday with the Reds and with every one of you and if that doesn't deserve a subscribe to the channel on YouTube and get us one closer to half a million I don't know what does thank you very much for watching we'll see you next time in 10 minutes
Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that show. Did you know Red Men Plus subscribers get access to their exclusive Facebook group? Yes, there is a Red Men Plus subscribers group on Facebook just for them. So if you want to get involved with like-minded Reds and avoid the idiots on Twitter and normal Facebook and all that, yeah, sign up to Red Men Plus, enter your username as you sign up to the Facebook group, and you'll get access to... Ta-da.